Namaste. This clipping is about the government's role in an economy. The government it collects various taxes and also subsidizes the population. You are aware of that. So in a three sector model, while the government is levying the taxes, it becomes a leakage. When subsidies are going to be offered to the population, it becomes an injection. You are aware of these two terms from the circular flow of income concept. Over here, while indirect tax refers to the levy on production and sale of products, subsidies, they refer to the economic assistance that is given by the government to the firms or to the households with a profit motive. Indirect taxes, commonly nowadays known as the GST, goods and service tax. So, your GST minus the subsidy will make up your net indirect tax. So, why should you be aware of this term net indirect tax? While indirect tax that is levied on goods and services is going to increase the market price of products, subsidies that are offered to firms to manage their cost of production will reduce the price of the products. Yeah. So, to understand how much is the actual product or what is the actual income that is added during the particular year of calculation, one should be making allowances for indirect tax and subsidy. That is, NIT has to be treated. Remember, indirect tax, it adds to the market price or the price of the product, while subsidy, it reduces the cost. So, NIT has to be treated to arrive at the actual value addition or the actual product. Right? So, with that, you will have to understand the two terms, factor cost and market price. What is factor cost? The amount that is paid to the factors of production for the factor services provided is what is factor cost. Or in other words, the summation of all your factor remuneration will be the factor cost. While market price is the price at which the product is going to be sold in the market. That's what you see as MRP on the package of the product that you buy in the market. So, market price, factor cost. Which one of this will depict the actual value of the product that is produced in an economy? Factor cost. Because that is the summation of the income of the factors of production. And market price will be the price at which the product is sold in the market. So that will be including the taxes and you know subsidy will be not provided for in that. So factor cost is the actual value of the product. So how do you calculate factor cost? Given the market price, yeah, market price minus the indirect tax plus the subsidy will give you the factor cost. Or in other words, to arrive at the factor cost, it would be MP minus NIT. Factor cost will be equal to market price minus NIT. Now this term, NIT, can be positive, it can be negative or it can be even zero. That depends upon the value of indirect tax and that of subsidies. If indirect tax is going to be greater than subsidy, then your factor cost will be 
more than the market price or rather your NIT will be positive. Your NIT will be negative if the indirect tax value is going to be lesser than the value of the subsidies. If indirect tax is equal to subsidy then NIT will be zero. So depending upon the value of the indirect tax and the value of the subsidy the NIT can be positive or negative or zero. And again, depending upon that, the market price can be greater than the factor cost, can be less than the factor cost or can be simply equal to the factor cost. But remember the concept, factor cost is the concept that you will have to know to understand the actual product, whether it is going to be the domestic product or the national product, rest assured that it is at the factor cost that you will be calculating it.